Hello, PMKE TV. <laughs> I'm so glad you got the jingle in. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm very well. I, but I have to commend you um, for powering through with a broken bone. Oh, I know. The and trauma. To plug everything in. Because we were last at the theatre together. We and went to the Casual Fold, didn't we? It, we did. We saw that in Wimbledon. And at the time, I thought, this isn't great. It feels really painful sitting throughout the whole performance afterwards you did actually say you need to get it checked did i listen to I be fair listen. phil it wasn't just me was it i think pretty <laughs> much everyone was saying uh are you gonna get that x-ray phil <laughs> i'm just stubborn it's but a scratch it's nothing <laughs> fine i'm a hard so man was it then it was like about 10 days before you went it was yeah it was almost two weeks yeah good well i'm glad you're okay thank you how are you i am um, very well, thank you. I'm I had a lovely day off, indulgent day out yesterday with my friend Sharon, who's over from Australia. We went to the B&A. And um, there's a free exhibition on there at the moment about Lockyard, Lockwood Kipling, who is Rudyard Kipling's father, or was, I should say, who's a very interesting man, a, a kind of um, an artist, illustrator. Um, he ran a school in India. Um, and had a lot to do with the design of the V&A before it was the V&A. It was ah. the Museum of South Kensington. Okay. Very interesting. I didn't know that Rudyard Kipling's, you know, anything about his, his dad. Well, that's the thing, because you know him, obviously, as the writer, but you don't... I mean, I don't know anything about the, the family history. His dad illustrated all his books and designed all the covers for all, for all Rudyard's books until Rudyard illustrated the Just So stories himself. Fascinating. Yeah, it is really good. I would, I would recommend it. Well, I don't know how long it's on for, but it's free, and it's, it's got some lovely and sort of antiquities from India. There, beautifully carved wooden door frames and windows, and pottery and weaving, and and Rudyard um, Lockwood made all these beautiful, very detailed drawings of Indian people, Indian craftspeople yeah. making. And there you go. Another mini review in the can for PMK podcast. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my BFI flare badge. I love that. That's so faithful because obviously the BFI flare festival has finished now and I feel quite sad about that. Did you go to the closing party, by the way? No, I wasn't able to. Oh, uh, you were in Brighton. I was. I was, I was on a panel for a, um, an organisation called The World Is Listening and um, I was asked to join a panel of five women to discuss age in the music business. Yeah. I don't know how on topic we stayed. It seemed to sort of go into kind of not just age, but what was it to be a woman and did that make any difference? And all of, It was interesting. It was, you know, it was uh, thought provoking and lots of people came along and there were questions. So, yeah, that's what I was doing. And it was also Mother's Day. So Max and Gulliver came down with me. So we didn't get back till quite late. How fitting end. that it was Mother's Day as well. The complexities of being a woman, I think. You can't really just talk about age. You have to talk about Multitasking. everything. Multitasking. Yeah, exactly. I know, they said, one of them said on the panel, and what do we think about periods? <laughs> and someone else said, well, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if your work was, um, you know, could be organised around your cycle? Because we do feel different at different times of the month. And one of them said, uh, Catherine, how would you feel about, um, you know, do you think you that might be something you'd consider? Or do, do you organise your work around your period? I said, no. I said, I've never thought about it. I said, pick. Having a period isn't an illness. Um, oh, Catherine, can you fly to Vladivostok and sing in this club next week? Oh, hang on, let me just check my menstrual cycle. No, that's not going to be a good week for me. Can we change it? Uh, I mean, hello. <laughs> to be fair, I know some women do have horrendous periods, which are a horrible problem for them, but I don't have the statistics, but as far as I know, not a massive problem for most women. No. I don't know, it was interesting, Phil, because, you know, women want equality in the workplace, but you can't come into the workplace going, well, I want equality and I can do exactly the same job as you, but 
you know, for a week every month, yeah. I'm going to be, you know, in a really bad mood, yeah. feeling like shit, <laughs> and I won't be able to do my job. You can't, I can't have it always. I don't. Think, you just soldier you? on, don't you? Soldier on, fighting soldier female on power with my soldering iron. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>